idea that I get to sit down and work on something so detailed for hours for me is really exciting. Usually start a piece by getting some reference photos together, doing a few quick lively sketches before then trying to put them all together into one drawing that will work as embroidery as well as an illustration piece. I think what I do is similar to needle painting, but it's a little bit freer. Well, with traditional needle painting, there is usually a guide set out, whereas I'm literally just making it up as I move, more like how I would draw. I began embroidering in my last year of university. I saw other people doing 3D textile work. I became quite jealous of how freeing the format seemed to be compared to my own work at the time in pencil and ink, which was very restrained, and the idea of just throwing that out the window and just working with textiles and kind of making it up as I went along was really refreshing. I get a lot more satisfaction out of it, even though I have wound up almost doing the same thing that I used to do in pencil, and just embroidering it instead. My inspirations tend to be ones from back when I used to paint and I used to draw, it's more traditional artists. I wanted to translate the way they've done movement and structure and everything into embroidery, rather than looking at embroidery artists and wanting to copy the embroideries. I've done a few book covers. I did one for the BFI back when I originally graduated, and since then I've done a couple for Penguin and Viking. The Bronte cover is probably the biggest piece of work I've ever done. My pieces can take anything from a few days, very small pieces, to a couple of months if I'm working on a very detailed larger piece. My work is a very obvious beginning and end. I can't change anything once I've sewn a large section, I can only go back a stitch or two. Literally we start at the nose and just move through in a block. I love that when it's finished you've got a sort of physical item. There's something about that interaction with it that I really love. It's wonderful doing that last stitch. Knowing it's done is really satisfying. I've got it to the end and I've got it how I wanted it. 